YouTube team keep it clean what's going on it's engraving here with another video and in this video I'm here to share my post game thoughts from the game we watched yesterday between the Chargers and the Ravens and it was a pleasant surprise the way that yesterday's game went because y'all know I didn't think it was going to go like that I said in my preview video I thought it would be a close game but I thought the Chargers would edge it out uh, simply because I just felt like the defense all season they had not been playing like Ravens defense that we had we known for that for forever. They just hadn't been playing like that, despite the injuries. Because we've even seen previous Ravens teams injured, uh, but the defense had still played better than what we've seen. Um, so I was just like, man, this Chargers team they coming in hot, but they Ravens cooled them off quick. And I was so glad to have been wrong about this game. And I, I just, I loved it. I loved it. Ravens literally controlled the game from start to finish. And even when there were chances, like when the game was not out of reach for the Chargers, the Ravens still held it down. And the thing about this game is that they, 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 even, they left points on the field. They left points on the field. Of course, the, the Hollywood touchdown drop. Uh, Lamar missing Mark Andrews, uh, and I know that it was windy yesterday, so I'm sure that had a little bit to do with it, but still, still, um, and then <laughs> the points that Lamar, Lamar, I think Lamar just felt bad, man, Lamar was like, man, we ain't been dogging teams out like this in, in a while, it's been a little minute, so Chargers, you know what, I, yeah, I'm gonna act like I don't see 44 sitting right there, and I'm just, whew, there it goes, Interception. Ah, whatever. I felt bad, y'all boys. Don't, don't get on me too bad. That's what I think that pick was by Lamar. Uh, but nah, anyway, um, this game, Lamar became the fastest person, uh, the, no, the person with the most wins under the age of 25. And he still got, I think he turns 26 in like December, or something like that. So he still got a little bit to go to extend the record. Um, then something that I read this morning, and I did not know this was Ravens record. I knew they were like, yeah, but I didn't know this was their record. Jameson Hensley tweeted that this this morning. He said the Ravens were 44 and 45 uh, between winning the Super Bowl in 2012 and Lamar Jackson taking over as the starter midway through the 2018 season. So after the Super Bowl, the Ravens were 44 and 45. Just a hint under 500. Just a hint. And we all remember the season, so we, we've been through some greats. We've been through some... Uh... But anyway, um, and Baltimore is now 35-8 and eight with Lamar Jackson as his starter. 35-8. and eight. Like, when you think about that, 35-8 and eight with Lamar Jackson as his starter. This, like, if, if you, you can actually sit here. We could, we could sit here and have a conversation about all the games that the Ravens have lost under Lamar Jackson. And we could go through each season that he's been a starter and we could remember each one of them. That's crazy. Like, that's really crazy. It, it, it doesn't make any sense, man. It's, it's crazy how just great of an impact this guy has had on this team. And that's no disrespect to Joe Flacco. So please don't take it like that. I, I hate that I have to say that every time we, we, we bring up the two at the same time. Because you know some people, oh, man, what are you doing with your it's not anything against Joe Flacco. It's more a shout out to Lamar. But that's, that's just amazing, man. Um, and again, yesterday was his 35th regular season win as a starter. And it was a good game. I know my guy Cam, he was saying that yesterday's game against the Chargers was probably the most complete game that the Ravens have played uh, this season. And I told him, I said, oh, well, what about the uh, the Broncos game? That, that, that one you could say it too now. Um, but, yeah, yesterday they, they came through. Everybody came through in their own way. Um, of course, the, uh, the offense starting. Let's start with the offense. Lamar Jackson. Um, like I said, he did miss on a, a few throws. He he let some sail. He missed James Prochet right before halftime on that um, that third, what was it second and like nineteen or second and twenty second and super long. And he he had the first. And that's the thing. It, it's been nice to see that Ravens could get in these these third and long situations. And even though they they show the stat every single game. And and sometimes I'm just like, wow, they're uh, how on third and seven and longer, 
they're like three out of like 19, 12. I forgot what the number is, but their third down conversion percentage on third and, and long is incredibly short. But when you see plays like that, you see guys getting open, and then we all, of course, get reminded about the fourth and 19. It's like Lamar can make it happen, and Ravens, the, the shout out to G Row and shout out to TT and Kiki and them boys because they've been making it happen. They've been making it happen with the play calls, man. They've been making it happen. So shout out to them, man. So the, we can see that the Ravens, even though their third down percentage is, is been a big yikes, the plays are there. They just got to make them. So Lamar missed James Prochet wide open. I think he thought James Prochet was a little bit taller. He thought he was a baller. But he is a baller. He is a baller. But he probably thought he was a little bit higher than he was. Uh, but it, it's all good. It didn't end up hurting the Ravens in the long run. Uh, but th those are passes that you can't miss. And, again, he missed Andrews. Uh, but he did connect with everybody else. He did He did connect. Um, and, again, just to go back to that pick, uh, that was just a great play by 44. Nice little user pick. Shout out to Madden. Um, but he is crazy that both of Lamar Jackson's interceptions uh, yesterday – they came on passes intended for Rashad Bateman, who made a very nice debut. Uh, but they they both came on passes intended for Rashad Bateman. Um, the first the first one where I, and I, I actually saw some people and I couldn't believe it. They were like, "Oh, what a bad play call! What? That was not no bad play call. The play call was fine." I, I, when when I saw that, I was like, "What? Be, what?" A bad play call? No, that was just on Lamar. That was all on Lamar. He he threw it a little, well, not even too early, but he just, 44 was there. He ain't see him. 44 made a great play. It was not no bad play call. But anyway, um, yeah, Lamar Jackson, but even though he was off on a couple of those, boy, he was on for some other ones, man. This dude, there was one throw. I think it was to Mark Andrews. I think, I forget who it was to. But Lamar was running to the right, and the pass, he had to jump, and he was turning his body to the left. While he was running to the right, threw the pass a little bit across his body, right into the receiver's chest, and it was a defender, like two defenders, like right there, but he got it right to that receiver's chest, and the receiver caught it. I was like, man, like, wh why is this guy so good? For what? Why is Lamar so good? Doesn't make sense. It's crazy. And he had to do he had to do the old school Lamar with them little sidearm throws and whatnot. He he came through yesterday, man. He 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 came through yesterday. Um, it was just beautiful to see. And this was so different from the last time we played the Chargers. It was a little bit a lot different from that game. <laughs> and even from the time before we played the Chargers. But and and it was just a beautiful thing to see. Beautiful thing to see. Um, so Lamar, he he did his thing. T today, I mean, yesterday wasn't one of his sexiest statistical games. But it was when you look at the score. <laughs> it was 34-6. Oh, yeah. But one thing in this game, shout out to Ravens offense. Because even though they left points on the field. Of course, Hollywood with the drop touchdown. Lamar missing Mark Ant. They scored early the offense got off to a hot start early and that's been their problem for most of the season they get off to these slow sluggish starts where they moving in slow motion and it's like Ugh, hurry up wake up but no they started early yesterday so with them starting early that made such a big difference offensive line there was some times when lamar could just chill he could put on the shades back there. He could do the Kodak bop real quick. But he, he he had some time in the pocket. He had time. It was like, okay, let's go, man. So it, it, was, it was nice. But there were some other times when they were like, man, hey, we tired. We tired. We, man, we've been giving you all this time. We tired. Joey Bosa, he got his in. Um, 40, 44 is just having a great game yesterday. Uh, he, he came in free on a hit for Lamar. And then, uh, oh, man, was that, I think it was Linville Joseph, where he made big guy, 
Big guy. He looked like Brandon Williams in a Chargers jersey because I think his number was 98 too. But he made a sack on Lamar. A big guy. They, not even nine times out of ten. Ten times out of ten. A guy that size coming at Lamar one-on-one -on -one in the pocket. Lamar is going to make you miss. Ten times out of ten. But this was the 11th time out of ten. And 98 got him. I had to give so much credit to him on that play because that play was amazing. The fact that he sacked Lamar Jackson. Just him, one-on-one. -on -one. I was like, kudos to him. Great job. Because it don't happen like that too often. Unless you come in free. But that's the play where he took Bradley Bozeman. He said, Bradley Bozeman, excuse me. Out of my way, sir. Out of my way. He pushed, he pushed him to the side and went and got Lamar. Oh, yeah. so it was rough. Shout out to Bradley Bozeman. And shout out to his wife. I think Nikki Bozeman. She be supporting that dude like crazy. And I love seeing it. Love seeing it. I love seeing love like that. So shout out to them too. Um, and, and we're glad that his injury ain't nothing serious. Um, now, back, yeah, back to Lamar and that, that offensive line. Uh, run blocking. So pass blocking, they were all right. They, they did get, like I said, they were a little tight on some plays. Uh, but overall, they, they, they did pretty good. Um, run blocking. Run blocking, they, they did all right. It seemed like charges, like with the charges in this game, they... They didn't sell out for the run. Ravens actually ran the ball pretty well. And and I remember looking at the numbers. Let me look at them one more time because the numbers for, for the, the Ravens rushing in yesterday's game had actually surprised me because they had got like a, a, a sneaky, like, what was it, like 195 yards or something like that. They got like whatever the amount was. I'm, and I'm pulling it up right now to see the exact amount because um, whatever it was, it had surprised me. And I was like, I didn't even realize the Ravens had got that many uh, rushing yards. But shout out to... Big reason for the rushing yards that they got. Shout out to the offensive line. Shout out to Patrick Ricard because he had a phenomenal game as a blocker. And also, especially on the touchdown plays, shout out to Miles Boykin. My boy Boyk Boyk came through yesterday. Shout out to my guy. It was a beautiful thing seeing him uh, out there on the field on offense, not just special teams. Uh, but on offense, let's see, rushing yards, they had 187. So where did I get 195 from? I was close. But anyway, they had 187 yards. It didn't, it didn't seem like they had even got that much to me. Didn't seem like it. Because, like, with Le'Veon Bell, he wasn't going off like crazy. With uh, Latavius Murray, he wasn't going off like crazy. I mean, they all got touchdowns. I know Devontae Freeman, he was going off a little bit. He was getting some nice runs. He was getting some nice runs. And he was... um. To me, and I said it during the stream, that he was running like he was a mix of Tyson Williams with Le'Veon Bell because he ran with patience, but he wasn't too patient. Because, you know, Le'Veon Bell, there was some runs where he was waiting, waiting, waiting for them blocks to, to, to open some lanes up. And then all of a sudden, boom, them charges came through, tackled him in the backfield. They were like, oh, no, you ain't going to be waiting forever like that. Who you think we are? Um, and who you think your offensive line is? Uh, but with... um. With Devontae Freeman, yesterday was his best game, man. He seems to be getting more and more comfortable uh, every week. Um, and yesterday was his best game uh, as a running back uh, for the Ravens, and he he came through. He ran, like I said, he ran with patience, but he ran with burst, um, and he he just made it happen. There were some plays. There were a lot of plays. A lot of his runs, it looked like they weren't going anywhere. But there was one where he bunny hopped over Chargers defender and he just hit it, man. So shout out to Devontae Freeman, man. Shout out to him, but looking better and better. He he probably be on Twitter all the time. He probably be on Instagram all the time. He probably be on YouTube all the time looking at all these people say, man, what are you, all these Ravens fans talking about? Cut me. What are talking about make me inactive? What what these boys talking about? Man, let me show them something. Let me show them something. And he certainly did. So shout out to you, Mr. Freeman. Shout out to you. Um... Latavius Murray, uh, he got hurt. It didn't look like it was anything serious. It looked, looked like he got a little Charlie horse. I, I said they need to get some Gatorade and a banana down to the field ASAP. But I, I think he'll be good to go. Uh, with Tyson Williams, we'll talk about more to his status more throughout the week. But, well, that's if he's still on his team throughout the week. I think he's going to get traded. I think Harbaugh said something about Tyson Williams still developing. But I think he's going to get traded. I think that just that's just coach talk. Um... So we'll we'll see what happens with that because he is clearly the odd man out. Uh, Ravens do not value him. They're not paying him a bunch of money. They didn't even draft him. 
Um, so he he's gonna be he's gonna be traded, I think, sometime soon. Uh, anyway, tight ends. Mark Andrews. I think he only had like sixty eight yards, something like that. Um, but it felt like he had a lot more yards than that. Let me see the exact amount. No, I don't want to see Chargers stuff. We ain't talking about Chargers offense yet. Yeah, he had five receptions for 68 yards, one touchdown. But it, it, it seemed like he had like 168 yards to me because Mark Andrews, he caught everything. He did not drop anything, so shout out to that. Um, and he just continued to show up and make plays. Mark Andrews is somebody that I thought could have possibly been taken out of this game or just not went off in this game because I was thinking about Derwin James because that dude, he's nice, and he showed how nice he was. He was balling yesterday. Uh, especially when he forced that fumble. Thank goodness we recovered it. Um, but Derwin James is that dude. There was one play where uh, Hollywood caught a pass, and he was one-on-one -on -one with Derwin James. And he looked like he had an angle. He, he gave him a little Hollywood stiff arm where Hollywood catches it, turns up field and stiff arm, and then running get a bunch of yards. But Derwin, Derwin said, no, you ain't about to do that today. No, no, sir. No, sir. So Hollywood caught the ball. He turned up field, gave a stiff arm, but Derwin James grabbed him by the ankles and tackled him. So, Derwin James, that dude, I'm, I'm so glad that he is playing and he's healthy, man. Because this is what a lot of us NFL fans have been waiting on. I still don't like the fact that, um, and I told you about this before. One time I played him in Madden, and I, I, I did not score a point. And it, it was one of them games he was whooping me, blew me out. And it was one of them games where I was like, all right, let's just get this over with. Where it, it got to that point. Because I, I could not do anything. Nothing. So, he is a baller on and off the field. So, shout out to Derwin James. But, anyway, Mark Andrews, I was just happy to see him just go off the way that he did. And he came through. Uh, and especially in the red zone on that touchdown. But Mark Andrews was active all game. Uh, this was a big game. He made it happen. Made it happen. So, shout out to man Drews, man. Uh, Josh Oliver, um, he doesn't get many opportunities. And and the fumble again, it, it it happened. I think this is his second fumble of the season, I think. Second one. Um, but it's it, it's all good, man. It's all good. The, these things happen. We don't want them to happen, but these things they 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 happen. So Eric Thomason was out there a lot. You see eighty five you see eighty five a lot every week out there blocking, holding it down. So shout out to Eric Thompson. Cause we when you see them bringing Eric Thompson, you'll be thinking, Oh, Run play. They, they, these boys are about to run the ball. Uh, and they, nine times out of ten, they usually do. Um, so, shout out to Ravens personnel. Uh, wide receivers. Hollywood. Besides the drop, because um, the commentator, I didn't get to see it for myself, but I know the commentator was saying that he jumped early uh, on that touchdown drop. Um, so, uh, an error on Hollywood's part. Um, thank goodness. I hate that we have to talk about this. Um, but... I mean, we don't want anybody to be dropping the ball, like, at all. Um, but the, the the situation, thank goodness the situation was what it was to where that, the, 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 where we were at in the game, that drop didn't have a big impact on it. Now, you left points out there, but it wasn't the worst drop. Now, we don't want any drops, but it wasn't the worst drop. Still a bad drop, and that was all on Hollywood. Lamar put it on the money. And Hollywood messed it up. Hollywood probably getting back at Lamar for last week where he where he missed him wide open and then followed that up and, and threw a bad pass. Hollywood like, ah, I got in the same spot in the red, same spot in the end zone too. Same spot. Hollywood like, I'm getting you back. I'm getting you back. Um, but besides that, he he had a pretty good game. And, and one thing about Hollywood is that he's been improving with the yak. He's been improving a lot with the yards after the catch. Uh, so that's big because that makes everything that much. Um, that allows the Ravens to do so much more. Um, that allows them to uh, just get when you can get more yards after the catch. Uh, that allows the offense to just eat more. That allows the offense to be that much more productive uh, and keep drives alive. So. Shout out to Hollywood, man. Rashad Bateman, uh, four catches yesterday. And it's crazy. Every one of his catches went four first down. Every, every one. Rashad Bateman was ready. They had him out there a lot. Uh, we'll talk about him uh, more extensively later on. Uh, but I was surprised how much he played because I saw 12 out there. Then I was like, oh, okay, he about to come off the field. 
So I still saw him out there. And I was like, okay, yeah, he about to get off. And then he would come off. Then he would be right back out there again. And I was like, oh, uh, okay. Like, they had him out there, like, pretty much the whole game. They had him out there more than, besides Hollywood, they had him out there more than Boykin, more than Prochet, more than Duvernay, more than everybody. So this dude literally filled in for Sammy Watkins like that. And he did not disappoint us. He did have that drop, though, again. Thank goodness of the situation. Same with Hollywood. Thank goodness the game was what it was. So those drops didn't hurt as much. It did hurt Lamar's numbers a little bit. But thank goodness the situation was what it was, man. Um, but, yeah, I, I almost thought that drop would come before he caught the autumn passes. But the drop came at the very end after he caught all the passes. Oh, yeah, okay, whatever. It is what it is. Um so shout out to Bateman, but here he looked good. He looked good. This is what we've all been waiting for with him, and he showed it in that first game. He got wiggle, he got some speed, he got hands, he he got. It. So he, I'm, I'm looking for. We all looking forward to seeing his growth. Um, Devin Duvernay, Jet Sweep King. Oh, they brought they brought them jet sweeps back too. Uh, but it was nice to see him active, and he, he got his jet sweeps in. So that was nice. Approche. I, I just the only play I remember seeing him in you know on is the 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 third and nineteen. I'm sure he was in on more plays, but I just didn't see him because he didn't get any passes on his way. Besides that one that Lamar missed him on. Um, so yeah, I didn't see him in this game. Boykin, Boyk, Boyk. Lamar threw it to Boyk, Boyk, and Boykin caught it with his hands. Went down. Oh, let's go. My boy Boyk, Boyk is officially back on offense and not just blocking, catching passes too. Somebody really said Boykin had a drop problem. Boykin ain't got no drop problem. What? The thing that Boykin did have with Lamar was a chemistry problem, a rapport problem. But Boykin ain't never have no drop problem. I, I just, I really don't know where people got that from. He does not have a drop problem. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was the offense. I don't think if I'm missing anybody, I don't think so. But that was the offense. They did their thing. And again, the fact that they, they did this stuff early. They didn't wait till... Third quarter to start scoring, fourth quarter to start scoring, overtime. No, they ain't waiting like last week. They ain't wait till late to start picking it up. But they did it early, and that made such a big difference that set the tone. Moving on to special teams, Justin Tucker made a long, a 52 yard field goal, and it was windy up there yesterday. Woo -woo. It's just a beautiful thing to have one of the best kickers in the league, man. Well, one of the best kickers to ever do it. Not not one of the best kickers in the league. He's the best kicker in the league, but one of the best kickers ever. And he's just so reliable. That's why when whenever he misses a field goal, Ravens fans they don't get mad. They not they're not allowed to get mad because this dude don't hardly ever miss. We ain't allowed to get mad at Justin Tucker for nothing. We not allowed to get mad at him. So shout out to him. He hit the fifty two yard field goal. Then he hit like a I think the other one was like a thirty eight yard field goal. Maybe forty. I forgot what the second one was. But he did that. Um, of course, the point after touchdown. So shout out to him, Sam Cook. Wow. Um, did he even punt yesterday? No, he did. I, he was not very active yesterday. Cause I do not remember him punting the ball very, very often yesterday, like at all. Um, Cause Ravens again, they were they were controlling the game. Um, yeah, I just don't. I don't remember him like hardly at all yesterday. Uh, Devin Duvernay, he had a nice kick return, and he's getting more and more comfortable at kick return um, every single week. Um, Cause last, but actually last week, and I, and I guess I say that because he hasn't even had a chance to. Cause last week against the Colts, I believe that was his the first chances he got as a kick returner, two kick return. But every everything else has been touchbacks, so it, he's ready. He ready. He, he gonna bring one back this year, man. Maybe two. But he he gonna bring some back, uh, and then a, a punt return. He he still continued to do his thing. You know, Chargers they had to punt that ball a lot, and the reason they had to punt that ball a lot is where we moving to next is the defense. And the defense, this is where I was the most worried for the Ravens in yesterday's game. This this, this is a big reason why I picked them to lose in yesterday's game because I just felt like the defense was just not gonna be able to. Hang with these receivers, with Keenan Allen, with Mike Williams. I was like, oh, these boys, they've been balling. And then Justin Herbert, again, that, every time I see him, every time I see him, I say, that boy is cold, man, in a good way. But yesterday, he was cold in a bad way. And why? Because the Ravens' defense, they heated up. 
they heat it up. And again, they I know I said it like three times already, but they controlled this game from start to finish. And it started with the Chargers' first drive because the Chargers got the ball first and Ravens set the tone early and they kept the tone there 99% of the game. Justin Herbert, they started off. Justin Herbert tried to throw to the flats and Chuck Clark jumped it, knocked it down. And they they were all over him. They were uh, they they were getting some pressure on him. They had him moving around in the pocket. He wasn't just sitting there. Uh, he did avoid pressure a lot of the time, but they had him moving. Um, he uh, we knew he was gonna take the shots, and he took a lot of the shots downfield. We knew that was coming because that boy is a gunslinger. He would throw that ball down the field, and he did it. But it just wasn't successful, which we loved. A lot of his success came when the game was already over. And that was the best part about it. Best part about it. Uh, Mike Williams, he, I know he was hurt. But you could tell that boy was just off. He was dropping stuff. He was bobbling stuff. He just, he was playing a little bit scary. But he must have been playing through a lot of pain. I don't, I don't remember what his injury was. But he was certainly hurt. Um, Keenan Allen. Throughout the game, he had like three catches for 25 yards, but then he got a, a big catch for 20 yards at the very end of the game when the game was already over. So he, a lot of his stuff came through that chunk play. Uh, Mike Williams, he had got a big catch after the Lamar Jackson interception. Because first, Deshaun Elliott, shout out to Deshaun Elliott, man. Got, got his first interception, and we really got to see the value of Deshaun Elliott to this Ravens defense. Because with Deshaun Elliott, I always thought he's a good player. Not a great player yet. He's a good, he's a good player. Hitter. Uh, his coverage skills, they straight, but very physical. He brings that physicality. Um, but again, he's also inexperienced. He, he ain't been playing for too long because his first couple years, injury reserve, injury reserve. Um, so I was like, all right, cool, cool. Uh, with Deshaun Elliott, even though he's out, we, we'll be straight, even though the rookie, that's a lot on his plate. But it was one of those things where you don't realize what you got until it's gone. And when he was gone, the defense was different. And it's just been one game, but still. Um, with him being back for this one game, his energy was crazy. He made such a big difference. Such a big difference. And you could tell, like, these dudes... That communication was on point, and they were happy to have him back. We were happy to have him back. And I felt like um, this was a game where I felt like the Ravens needed him back because of his physicality, but it actually, being, it actually ended up being his energy and his pass coverage where he made the biggest impact. And that was, that was just wild to see, man. So Deshaun Elliott, he was on it this game. He was fired up to, to be back, and he made all the difference in the world. Somebody else who made all the difference in the world was Josh Bynes. Josh Bynes played with a lot of that same energy, that, that hype, that ju- he was ready, man. Josh Bynes was, because they, they, they essentially benched Patrick Queen. Um, it's funny, we had a question from subscriber on that. Will the Ravens bench Patrick Queen? And they did it. They, well, they didn't 100% bench him, but he was not the, the starter. He was out there starting, but he was not the starter. Um... But it made a big difference. And he had a good game. He wasn't missing any tackles. Ravens, they tackled very well in this game. They tackled very well. You did not see a bunch of those plays where Ravens, they, they tackle somebody. Well, they try to tackle somebody, and they miss the tackle. Uh, and the guy turns a two-yard gain to a 10-yard gain. You didn't see that yesterday. And that's what we've been talking about. Well, Ravens, you can't be doing that. And they didn't do it. So shout out to the Ravens. That was a beautiful thing to see. Um, they, they tackle well, but Josh Bynes, the energy, he almost got a pick, uh, but the energy w- was there. He was in the right place, right time, made plenty of plays. We loved it. And again, Patrick Queen too. Patrick Queen, he helped blow up a screen. Brandon Stevens, that dude has been balling, man. He helped blow up a screen. Chargers tried to run screens on the Ravens and oh my goodness, Ravens blew them all up. They blew them all up. They, they, and we know that's our kryptonite. Like Lamar before, Lamar was like, oh, yeah, Kansas City, that's our kryptonite. Not no more. But the screen plays, those continue to be Ravens kryptonite for so long. Not yesterday. And hopefully not anymore, but not yesterday. It was like, yes, come on. We, I, I was so happy, man. Ravens didn't fall for the screen. They blew them up. 
And they tackled well too Oh my goodness um, Calais Campbell He had a really good game uh, Especially in run defense I think they held Austin Eckler To like 7 yards rushing I'm like what? If you look at the game last week And then you're like Oh we got Eckler coming into town Uh oh 7 yards rushing It's wild um, Justin Houston I was so happy for him He he got his 99th and a half sack And it's like he kept coming close Kept coming close But then he finally got it It was nice to see So he's a half sack away So hopefully he gets that next week On Mr. Burrow uh, So we'll see how that goes um, What else uh, mm, mm, mm. I'm trying to think It's, it's, it's slipping my mind Um Adafi away, they 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 sent the whole Chargers team to block Adafi away. They were like, "Hey, we ain't trying to let you get a defensive rookie of the year. We tired of hearing about your name. You ain't about to impact this thing." Nope, not today. And yeah, not not yesterday. He didn't have a an Adafi away game, but they they were committed to making sure that he didn't. Um. Deshaun Elliott, just going back to him real quick. He did also get the sack. He got a sack and an interception, right? Yeah, man. He Oh, nice welcome back party. Nice welcome back party. So, shout out to him. Uh, in this game, I ain't hear anybody complain about Wink Blitzen. It's the same thing we've been saying. With Wink, it's not It's not that, oh, yeah, don't, don't blitz at all, Wink. No. And we know it's a live by, die by thing. But it's all about the game, the flow of the game, how the blitz is doing. Again, who are you blitzing against? Are you ready to leave your corners on an island against that quarterback and those receivers? It just all depends on so much. But yesterday he did fine with it. Um, the, the secondary, uh, Marlon Humphrey, he had a good game, made some nice third down stops. And Justin Herbert was like, man, I ain't throwing this dude away no more. I'm tired of this. So with Anthony Averitt, he wasn't really giving up much until the game was out of reach. That's when he started giving up stuff. And he started playing off a little bit. Um, and But he did make a really nice breakup on a deep pass. I think it was for number 15. I think his name is Fulton. The guy who looks like Willie Sneed on their offense. Um, but he, we keep playing all these teams with these Willie Sneed looking wide receivers. Like with, they had the guy on the Lions. Um, ah, I forget his name. But he looked like Willie Sneed. Now the guy on the Chargers. He looked like Willie Sneed. Anyway, shout out to Willie Sneed. Um but yeah, Anthony Averett, he he did his thing yesterday. Nice bounce back game uh in a game that was against better receivers uh than the Ravens were playing against on Monday night. So this is a great bounce back game for him. Um and of course we talked about Deshaun Elliott Baller. We talked about Chuck Clark did his thing, Brandon Phillips. So secondary did it and Jimmy Smith. Jimmy Smith had a really nice pass breakup early. I think it was on the first drive. Early on in the game. Nice it could have been pass interference now. Uh, but he had a really nice pass breakup So shout out to Jimmy Smith I was thinking for this game They may need to bring out Jimmy Smith To cover those receivers Just to have Marlon on one side And Jimmy Smith on the other But Ravens was like no Anthony Avery he got it He gonna hold it down And he did So shout out to them um, One last thing Back to Lamar There was a play where Lamar Jackson He scrambled And he ran out of bounds And I saw number 31 for the Chargers Like Grazed by him with like one arm Didn't even really push him Barely even touched him And I, I heard Ravens fans like They were calling for a flag And the, I heard fans at the stadium They were booing But Lamar had ran out of bounds And then number 31 from the Chargers Kind of like grazed past him And I was like What they really crying over that? They calling for a flag over that? Like come on now I'm like Ravens fan or not That is not no rough in the pass at all That's not no flag Why are they crying over that? But then they showed the replay And they showed I think number 33 And number 44 I forgot who it was he Lamar was out of bounds and the and the cornerback or safety, whatever he was, he dove at Lamar Jackson's legs. And I was like, oh, that's the one. That's why they were booing like that. And I understood. And I was like, yes, that should have been a flag. So looks like the league is gonna be tipsy turvy with these flags for Lamar Jackson for roughing the passer. Or well, unless that would have been late hit unnecessary roughness. Um, so again, I mean, we know Lamar, he don't get protected. Um, one of my guys, my guy JT said, well, Lamar, what well, he got to do, he got to, uh, even though that was scare Ravens fans like crazy, but they like, he, he's like, he got to get up slow. He got to get up slow. When he gets hit late, 
he got to get up slow to like really show the NFL and really show the refs like, hey, like this is going down. So, I mean, we'll, we'll see what happens with that. I don't really expect him to get many calls because they, they don't protect them. They don't protect them. They should because, again, Lamar's money. He's, he's money for y'all. NFL knows that. They know the business. But it is what it is. Um, coaching, Harbaugh was trolling with that last challenge. It's a well-coached game, obviously, but with that last challenge, he was, he was just trolling. Like, when he challenged that Keenan Allen catch, I was like, okay, Harbaugh, you, yeah, you a big troll for this one. Um, Giro, we already talked about it, my boy Giro. You already know what time it is. Giro, TT, and Kiki, the, the impact, and again, the, the, the difference that they have made, and, and I'm, I'm so glad that you could, you could tell that they really have a voice and they really have respect with this team because that was the one thing that I feared. I'm like, Ravens, you could hire anybody in the world. You could hire the best wide receiver coaches, best this and best that, but if they don't have a voice, then it's not going to matter, and these dudes have certainly had a voice. We have seen it from the way our receivers have been playing. We've seen it just from everything, and it's been beautiful. Wink. Wink got tired of everybody talking about his defense. He like, man... These people, I'm about to shut these people up. This is Justin Herbert, dude. Oh, he MVP? Okay. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show him something. I'm going to show him something. I'm going to show these charges something. I got y'all. And he did. Let's see that every week, shall we? I know it's a lot to ask for. Ravens got some very tough tasks in front of them. Uh, but next up starts with the Cincinnati Bengals. But anyway, team, keep it clean. This was a, a great game. I know we went on for a while with this one. We went on for a long time. But... It's all good, man. Shout out to y'all. Appreciate y'all. I love y'all, team. Keep it clean. Thank you for watching. Thank you for anybody that watched the stream. Shout out to anybody that watched this whole thing. If you watch this whole thing, just put in the comment section, it's all love. I know, I know you ain't going to see too many of them comments, but I know what some people are going to do. They're they going to see other people comment, and they're going to go, hold up, let me comment the same thing. But it, it, it's all good either way. It's all love either way. I appreciate y'all. I love y'all so much, and we out.